One race for a Clay County School Board seat wound up in a courtroom today. This afternoon, attorneys for District 5 incumbent Ashley Gilhausen and her challenger Lynn Chafee went before a judge. Gilhausen is suing Chafee to force her out of the race since a News 4 Jack's I-Team investigation in which Chafee admitted she lived in Fleming Island but wants to represent Green Cove Springs. Gilhausen is also suing the Clay County Supervisor of Elections. News 4 Jack's reporter Scott Johnson broke this story. He was in the courtroom today and is joining us live from the Clay County Courthouse. Scott, this is so unusual. It certainly is, particularly a week before the election, which is why today in court, Judge Gary Wilkinson was questioning whether or not this will impact the race, because as of his checking this afternoon, more than 31,000 voters in Clay County had already cast their ballots. So in court today, attorneys for both sides agreed to let the November 6 election play out. Then if Chafee wins, the case will get started. Gilhausen's attorney is asking any hearing happen by November 20th, which is the date the new school board member would be sworn in. Beyond that, it's uncertain what will happen if Chafee wins the election. After the hearing was over, Chafee's lawyers came out to say a couple things, that his client was living in the proper district the date she filed to run months ago, and voters should not be deterred from voting in the school board race. What's important to take away from today's conference uh, before the court is that the election's ongoing and people need to come out and vote and they have two choices they have Ms. Gilhazen and they have Lynn uh, Chafee and uh, that's unimpeded and people need to recognize the fact that notwithstanding the legal distraction here the election's ongoing and people should vote for the candidate of their choice. And today, the attorney for the supervisor of elections even thought about the idea of perhaps withholding the results of the election next Tuesday from the public until they can settle this in court. But the judge said no, make it public, let people know who won. And if Gilhausen wins and retains, then this is essentially a moot point and this no longer will be in court. But if Chafee wins, it likely will be in a courtroom. We are live at the Clay County Courthouse in Green Cove. Scott Johnson, Channel 4, The Local Station.